much all my life, I've followed the rules and, you know, did what I was told. Never been called a rebel. Today we're changing all that. Bucketless Homestead. Today's video hmm, might be a little controversial, <laughs> I guess you could say. We are going to be canning something today that technically is considered rebel canning. And one of the reasons is honestly because the powers that be, so to speak, who decide what is safe canning has just never tried it. So that's why they kind of say it's rebel canning. And we're canning french fries today. Yep. French fries. <laughs> and I don't see why it's such a big deal because at the end of the day, it's raw potato that we are canning that's just cut in a different shape than the, can the potatoes that I have been canning pretty much every day for a good last week. And I'll show you why I've been canning potatoes every day for the last week. We picked up this 50 pound bag of potatoes. As you can see, it was filled to the top. I'm getting quite, it's quite a bit, half, we're about halfway now. I got these from our local neighbor, neighbor farmer um, for $25. $25 for 50 pounds of potatoes. And not only is that a great deal, these are Kennebec potatoes. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. I wish you all could have been here when I realized that he was selling, he rate, he grew Kennebec potatoes this year. I'm from Maine and Kennebec potatoes were created, I guess you could say, in Maine. I grew up, these are the potatoes I grew up eating and they are just amazing. Sorry, I'm making sure my microphone's okay. They're so good. They're good for french fries. They're good for baked. They're good for mashed. Um, there's just so many, they're delicious. They're absolutely delicious. And to actually have them, I haven't had them in years. <laughs> so I was pretty excited. So that's why I've been canning potatoes pretty much every single day for a week. Um, I have, I think I'm up to eight or 10 quarts of potatoes now, which is amazing. I don't know if I'm going to can many more potatoes. We might do a couple more quarts. I don't know. I'm running out of quarts, <laughs> quite quart sized jars. I'm trying to debate whether I buy another case or not. Um, I'm hoping I can save some of these fresh uh, going through the winter. I just got to figure out a place to save them so they're in the better condition than just being in my kitchen. So, um, but Aiden loves French fries. Truly, he eats them I would not be exaggerating if I said at least one meal a day that child is eating french fries. And it's probably one of the few foods that he has continued to eat since he was probably eating solids, say two or three years old. Um, for those of you who may be new here, both my children are neuro neurodivergent, which honestly is a big, fancy, big, huge word that just says their brains work a little bit differently than ours. And for Aiden's um, neurodivergency, is Tourette syndrome, which does kind of have quite a bit to in common with autism, which our daughter Grace is also autistic. Um, and one of those is eating issues, dietary issues, just different problems, um, having difficulty eating a variety of foods or whatnot. And, uh, but one thing that's always stayed the same for Aiden is French fries. I, I joke and tell him that he's going to turn into a potato, but, um, and we do buy a lot of frozen potatoes and I can get them for around now, the brand that we buy, I think it's up to two fifty a bag, um, which you don't think that, you know, it is adding up. Cause like I said, if he's eating these once a day, pretty much seven days a week, we're going through a bag fairly fast. Like he throws them in the air fryer and they're good to go. So we are going through a bag of potatoes probably every two days. At two fifty a bag, we are spending a lot of money on potatoes. So if I can can some potatoes and have these shelf ready 
and he can throw these two into the air fryer. We don't know. That's going to be something we're going to test um, to see if these can be air fried or if we have to deep fry them or shallow fry them or whatever. Um, I'm really hoping these will be successful in the air fryer. So this is something Aiden can grab. Then I will definitely be canning more French fries. So we will try these together coming up soon um, after they've been canned and they've sat. We'll see how they work. So let's get to it. Um, so I washed and uh, peeled all these potatoes. Um, I got about eight good sized potatoes and um, I used my handy dandy French fry cutter. This makes things so much quicker. Um, and I, I picked this up very inexpensively for 12 bucks at our uh, local grocery store. So there's tons on Amazon. I can certainly link one down in the box for you below, but there's plenty to choose from. Um, and I kept them in water. They sat in water for honestly about three hours. Um, I've drained them and now they're ready to go. This helps get a lot of starch off of them. And even if you weren't canning, this is the best way to make uh, French fries. If you let them soak for as long as you can to get as much starch off, they fry up, they bake up, however you make French fries, a lot better if a lot of the starch comes off. So I've rinsed them and they've just been sitting in um, clean water. And I'm gonna go get my jars that have been warming up in the oven. Okay, so these have been stayed, these were in the oven for about a half hour. And we are just going to fill our jars with our french fry shapes. I don't know, can you call them french fries before you cook them? <laughs> and I'm doing three jars because that will fit in my electric pressure canner, three quart size jars. Um, but also, I only have three wide mouth um, jars left. <laughs> and I definitely prefer, I think wide mouth is, I mean, you can certainly try the other jars, the regular mouth, but I just think it's going to be a hard time um, getting them out um, <laughs> when it's time. So, like I said, if this ends up working the way we want it to, then we will probably be investing in another case of wide mouth jars just for french fries. <laughs> And I have my tea kettle, it has been boiling, so we've got nice hot water and we are going to, I guess that's another difference. Um, when you're canning potatoes, you parboil them for a couple of minutes and we're not gonna do that with french fries, so that's probably another no-no, but <laughs> we are gonna certainly try. Trying to decide if I wanna put salt in with these. I'm just wondering if they'll taste better, you know, or you just put the salt on like we usually do as soon as they come out. I think maybe I will try the salt with these three because these are going to, I'm going to be trying, we're going to be trying these fairly soon and we'll see how they go. So yeah, this is, so eight potatoes, the size I had, which were probably about that big. I'd say certainly a, a good, good size. I, I looked for big ones. Um, it looks like eight's gonna do three quarts for me, so that's good. We're just gonna try and fit these last couple. Some of them are bigger than others. Hot water. And I'm going to the second ring on my jars. Oh, hot water in my pressure canner. Oh, I gotta fill this up. I have hot water in my pressure canner. We're gonna can these for um, 40 minutes and uh, I'll see you back here when I take them out of the canner. day <laughs> it's actually the next morning um had some issues with the darn pressure canner last night um i shouldn't say issues with it issue with our electrical i kept tripping the um electrical box on the outlet i was using so we're not sure what's going on so i end up having to move it eventually anyway it finally got done but 
I end up just leaving it in the pressure canner all night, um, which is not a bad thing because then you don't have to worry about, you know, taking them out too soon. So they, I took them out about, oh gosh, two hours ago. Um, so they're not hot anymore. And there they are. No siphoning either. So that looks good. And they look good. So make sure you stay tuned. We will be um, taste testing these um, just in a couple of days. Um, Aiden will be here for that. And we're going to see how they hold up cooking in the air fryer. And if they do, well, their mama's going to put a lot more French fries, <laughs> shelf-stable French fries, on the pantry shelves for the winter. So thanks for coming along with us while I was a rebel. And I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit subscribe. And if it, you feel like it, please share my video on your social medias with your friends and family. That really helps my channel grow, and I appreciate it more than I can tell you. Until then, take care, God bless, and we'll see you all soon.